what's up everybody? It's Omar. Uh, watch old trade from the Bullish Bears team. It is um, what's the day? Tuesday, June 21st, 2017, 8:39 p.m. And I just wanted to talk about my play today on AMD. I took a $210 loss on it. I actually posted my PL. I took the trade on my mobile app, which I don't know, man. Mobile trading is hard. You know, I, I, I don't recommend it. Um, one of the problems that I have is with mobile, with with work, is that I can't get through the firewall. So I can't access Centerpoint when I want to make a trade. You know, they, they trade off the DAS platform. And um, I just can't seem to get in, which sucks. So I try to make trades on the phone and it constantly disconnects. And I actually would have had a big win this morning because... There was a, I saw this I saw AMD moving pre-market and you know I, I have this simple strategy that I like to short in reversals shorting into the lower high risking high a day. Um, I know I normally don't trade pre-market but you know this there was so much volume and the RSI was so high here that I felt like there was gonna be a pullback. Now I saw AMD running about right here so I caught it like right. I don't know, like in the thirteen fifty range, I saw it and I see it. I kept seeing it go up and up and up, and then I I saw it hit this high of um day of the morning, you know, pre market. This was at eight forty, and um and you know, and I started to see the reversal, and um right here I tried to make a short. I tried to take a short entry. So at this point, this was high a day. You know, which was in the morning, and right here I tried to make a sh take a short entry. I tried to short this um, right here, 1364, 2,000 shares. I was looking just for it to go to VWAP, so I was looking to make um, um, about 20 cents. You know, about 20 cents, um, 2,000 shares, which would have made me uh, what uh, 200 bucks, right? Um, and I probably would have covered right in here. So I went to make the trade on the phone app. And it wouldn't go through. Freaking thing disconnected. The, yesterday too, I had three trades. I would have made about four thousand dollars yesterday, and none of my trades got executed. So that was the first entry. <laughs> then I tried to short. So then the the market opens, and you know I see all this like wicks and all this indecision. So you know I saw it started consolidating, and then I saw I got this bounce here. But you know it's right below VWAP. So. I try to execute a second trade here. So you see right here then, you know, this is at the market. This was the high at the market open. Not high of day because you always got to consider pre-market. But this was the high um, at the open. So I saw the consolidation. I saw it down. I saw it, you know, drop to 1327. And then I saw the bounce. So I tried again right here. <laughs> I tried to get, I tried to take another short position here. 2,000 shares at 1347. You know, I, I didn't know how far it was going to go, but my expectation, I, I you know, I'm surprised AMD is up over $14. I thought it was going to wash today, but it, it looks like it have got, got another good day in it before you get a monster pullback, which is what I think will happen, but who knows. So I try to get executed here. Fucking app. I couldn't get through again, so I didn't get executed. So I'm freaking messing with the phone, and... I want to say, where was it? Right about, I don't know. I want to say right about here. I'm messing with it and I got executed. <laughs> I got executed right here at the phone. Um, and I don't know why. I was pleasantly laying around and I didn't realize I was in. So right here at 1323, I was in and the stock starts gapping up. So, you know, I was like, fuck, you know, I'm, you know, the highest 1347. I didn't know if I wanted to risk that much, but you know, I stood in the stock and once I saw it go up and I saw this doji candle pull back to the to the 20 and start grinding up, I tried to get the hell out of there. Cause I wasn't sure what it was gonna do. And I the phone just would not let me cover. It wouldn't let me buy my share. So I had a call center point and it was this whole mess. And by the time, you know, I got I it went through, I don't know, somewhere in this in this thirteen forty three range, I think I got covered in and I lost about 200 bucks. Um, yeah, so the Daz app, app sucks. You know, the center point's amazing. There's customer service, they were great, but the Daz platform, the mobile app sucks. I do not recommend you trade on, on it unless you got excellent Wi Fi. Um, 
but otherwise you know stay away from it and for, so far two days i've been using it it's terrible so that was my loss at that point i was just fucking like you know so trading is like 90 percent mental you know it's like it's like mostly mental you know it's it, you know and and when your mental capital is off and when you don't feel good you got to stop trading because what you're going to do is you're going to mess yourself up now so at that point, I decided not to trade. And um, there were some opportunities throughout the day, but I just didn't take any because I didn't feel good. Now, what's funny was I got home um, a little bit early. And about this was about 3, I saw I saw about 3.30, I, about this time I, got, I was here, I got home. And I saw that AMD was on this uptrend. And I saw that, you know, I put the trend line here. And I saw that it was up in an uptrend. It was forming this ascending triangle pattern, ascending wedge. And I thought that, you know, we can get it a squeeze and then probably continuation up into, into after hours because it had so much volume. And because my me it's still, I was still mentally like kind of off, I didn't make the trade, but I was right. And, and it actually did get up to about 410 and I was gonna take a 2500 share position, which I would have more than made my money back, but because I, I was looking to get at least at least 14.05 out of this. It got up to about 14.08, and then it sort of pulled back, and now it's running. Now, I don't know what AMD is going to do tomorrow. It's up at 14.10. If you look at the yearly chart, um, you know, this thing at its height is at 15 bucks. You know, it has a resistance. This next resistance point is 14.75. So, you know, if it holds 14 at the open, and it has a little pullback and a gap up, there's no there's nothing really stopping this from getting up to the 1450, 1460 mark. But I don't believe the hype, guys. This has this has had one, two, three green days. You know, you know, I, I don't you know, there was some news. I, I don't I don't know if AMD is gonna break that 15 1555 mark. Um but we'll see. You know, nobody ever really knows what a stock's gonna do. But this this is gonna wash at some point. It's gonna have a huge wash and I'm definitely gonna short it and and uh, into that wash. So that was my play today. Um, these are my this is my watch list for tomorrow. Um, I already posted it, so you know I have my Twitter. Um, um, you know you can just uh, find me. Actually, here we go. I actually posted my watch list uh, for tomorrow here. There is um, something that you guys should always look to. Like when you look at stocks, for example, um, you know sometimes you can look at some of these stocks and you can see squeezes. Like for example, HOS. HOS is on my watch list for tomorrow. I always look for stocks that you know gap up holding their highs, and what I sometimes what I like to do there is this website called short squeeze short squeeze.com, and you put the ticker in. So let's say I put HOS, and what you should what 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 should interest you about this stock is if you look at it, it tells you the short percentage of float. So 53% of the float, meaning 53% of the stocks available for trading is short biased all right so you know so what does that tell you that tells you okay so so here's 1.4 million shares traded today the average is 1.3 that means that if tomorrow that if tomorrow um this stock now it, it it's it closed right now it's currently at 295 um you know if it doesn't break over three, because three is a psychological resistance barrier, then you should, you know, I'm, I'm going to look to short it with all the other shorters. But if it gets above three and they drive the price up, get ready for a short squeeze. That's what a short squeeze is, guys. So a short squeeze is when you borrow shares, right? So shorting a stock is you borrow shares from your broker, right, at one price, and then you literally have to buy them back at another price. So let's say, you know, if I shorted the stock, let's say at 290, making the number up, a random number up, and the market opens, and now, and so I borrowed at 290, but let's say the stock breaks above three. Now I'm down 10 cents, and it starts squeezing up because now what happens is all the short sellers panic, and they have to cover, meaning they have to now literally buy the shares back from their broker. When they do that, that drives the price of the stock up. So it's it's really good to kind of sometimes to see uh, if, if a stock, like what's the percentage of float um, people have in a stock to see if there's a potential short squeeze. So HOS, I'm sort of short bias on it, but you know, it could have a squeeze at the open. So take a look at it. And you know, you can look at some of these other stocks like Mara, Ripped, you know, it's just like, you know, so you can kind of go in and you can see, you can type Mara and see what's the percentage. 
So only four percent of the of the of the of the stock is 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 uh, is shorted right now. So you know, so that tells me nothing. That tells me that uh, you know that you know it's not. It's probably due for a pullback tomorrow. You know, it may continue up. We'll see. You know, this is dog shit company though. You know, you just play. Uh, you just playing the volatility. All right, just playing the volatility. You don't you don't buy these stocks holding and hoping. All right, but tomorrow I'm looking at HOS for a potential short. Tomorrow I'm looking at uh, ARRY maybe for a potential short. Um, you know, I look for stocks that are really overextended, like a stock like I don't know, C C like C C S I Q. All right, this is this is a stock that went from 13 to 14.05. It went up a whole dollar. My expectation is, you know, look how choppy this is. You know, and its next resistance point is 1434. You know, um, this had four green days. My expectation is tomorrow when the market opens, this can pull back. And I checked it had share, the, the, the shares are available to short, so I may short it. That's what I like to do. I just find it a lot easier for me. But that doesn't mean these stocks won't continue up. But these are the stocks on my watch list. Um, you know, we'll see what happens. There were some monster plays today. Um, we'll see what happens with some of these other stocks and um, You know, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. I'm tired. I'm about to go to bed. All right, so have a good night y'all uh, Leave some comments and like like please on Facebook and uh, I'm sorry. I'm YouTube